Welcome back to Then and Now, where we take you on a trip down memory lane to revisit the cast of your favorite shows and films. Today we're rolling back the clock all the way to the rough and tumble frontier town of North Fork. Get ready to step into the boots of The Rifleman, a classic western series that first hit the small screen in 1958. The show's blend of moral lessons, action, and drama has left an enduring legacy that still resonates even 65 years later. So saddle up as we dive deep into the lives of the cast, both on and off the set, from the early days to where they are, or sadly, where they would have been in 2023. Our journey starts with the towering figure of Chuck Connors, the rifle-swinging hero of North Fork. Connors, born and bred in Brooklyn, swapped his baseball bat for a rifle, leaving behind his professional sports career to bring Lucas McCain to life. Known for his rugged charm and commanding presence, Connors enjoyed a prolific career in film and television until his passing in 1992. His larger-than-life persona and enduring impact still resonate today. Turning the pages, we find Johnny Crawford, the young prodigy who portrayed Mark McCain, Lucas's son, with the maturity beyond his years. A Hollywood star from his early years, Crawford's role as Mark showcased his talent to millions. Post The Rifleman, he ventured into music, proving his versatility and creativity. Though Crawford left us in 2021, his spirit lives on through his memorable performances and melodious tunes. Next, we honor Paul Fix, the silver screen veteran whose portrayal of Marshall McCutt-Torrance added a layer of wisdom and grit to the rifleman. The New York native had already left an indelible mark on Hollywood before donning the Marshall's badge. Even after the show, Fix continued to enthrall audiences with his compelling performances until his death in 1983. His legacy as a character actor is firmly etched in the annals of TV history. We then spotlight Patricia Blair, the Texas-born actress who breathed life into the headstrong Lou Already an established name in the industry, Blair's addition to The Rifleman added a feminine touch to the rugged frontier town. Post-show, she transitioned from acting to business, showcasing her multifaceted talents. Though Blair passed away in 2013, her groundbreaking roles continue to inspire aspiring actresses. Now we pay homage to Bill Quinn, the steady hand behind Sweeney, the bartender. The New York native was a staple in Hollywood long before he poured the first drink in North Fork. Post The Rifleman, Quinn remained a beloved character actor, leaving an impressive body of work before his death in 1994. His dedication to the craft continues to serve as an inspiration. We commemorate Harlan Ward, the man who donned the hat of North Fork's banker, John Hamilton. Born in Los Angeles, Ward was a familiar face in Hollywood when he became part of the Rifleman cast. After the show, Ward continued to carve out memorable roles, leaving a significant impact on the television landscape. Though Ward passed away in 1980, his contributions to the industry live on. Turning the spotlight to Archie Butler, the uncredited yet unforgettable stagecoach driver in many of the Rifleman episodes. The Missouri-born stuntman and actor was a prolific presence in Hollywood, making countless appearances in westerns. Post the Rifleman, Butler continued his career as a stuntman and character actor until his passing in 1977. His uncredited yet significant contributions to the industry have not gone unnoticed. Our journey wouldn't be complete without the mention of Hope Summers, the warm and wise Hattie Denton, owner of the General Store. Summers, born in Mattoon, Illinois, had a rich career in radio and theater before joining the Rifleman. Her acting journey continued to flourish after the show, with memorable roles in numerous films and TV series. Summers passed away in 1979, but her contribution to the world of entertainment lives on. Last but not least, we honor Catherine Moore, the strong presence behind Maboyle. Born in New Jersey, Warren's acting journey had been deeply entrenched in Hollywood before she came to North Fork. Post The Rifleman, she continued to charm audiences with her compelling performances. Even though Warren left us in 1965, her impactful portrayals continued to inspire many actors. And there you have it folks, a journey back in time, revisiting the unforgettable characters from The Rifleman and the actors who brought them to life. It's clear to see the impact the series and its cast had on shaping the television landscape, an impact that echoes even today. 
these actors not only entertained us, but also became a part of our extended TV families. Here at Then and Now, we believe in honoring their contributions and keeping their memories alive. As we close this chapter, remember, every ending is just a new beginning. So stay tuned for more nostalgic journeys back to your favorite shows and films. Until next time, keep reminiscing and keep appreciating the stars that made television history.